Greetings, Globelings and Flat Earthers. Today I have a very important message for you. Man, the globe, you will see, debunks itself. It's very simple. It's all in the tilt. Just like a pinball machine, you tilt it, and guess what? You can tilt the globe. <laughs> you can tilt the globe. The globe! <laughs> okay, today we just go in light, just a simple basic Heineken, the best all-purpose lager. You could be beached on an island with several cases of this, and you'd be okay. Yeah. I love this. This is like, uh, you yeah. know. Okay. Beverages aside, let's get down to business. All right. There's so much we could do with this. Okay. You know, this is a real one because it's got that shiny sticker on there, like on the credit cards. Okay. So this is authentic. And on the bottom, a lot of globes you know, for legal purposes, they're going to tell you this is for ornamental purposes, not for educational purposes, okay? Because they know if you take them to court, you'll win, okay? Just like in the state of Georgia, Zan Garcia, the guy took him to court, I heard like three times, three times, and then he lost each time. He couldn't prove there was a curve. There's no curve. I remember I told the cashier one time at uh, Whole Foods, and I go, hey, have you heard, you know, what's going viral on YouTube? She goes, no, what? And I said, flat earth. She goes, what? I go, yeah, there's no curve. And her jaw dropped. She goes, you just destroyed my world. Like her whole entire worldview she meant. I don't know if those were the exact words she used, but that's what she communicated. Like, like that was just such a mind-blowing thing, basically. Okay? So, it's powerful. No curve, but you have to be sincere when you say it. And, yeah. So, so today, no tilt. Ahem. Okay. You're supposed to be spinning. <laughs> Over a thousand miles an hour. And that's why when you see the F over 2 pi, I put that on every video. For those who know, they know. And the link to understanding F over 2 pi is always the first link in the description. So you have no excuse. F over 2 pi debunks the globe, period. Okay? You can't spin a broken ball. This is more real than your broken ball. But I don't want to go off on a tangent. We'll just go right to tilt. And I'm really thirsty. Yeah, this is like water. It's better than water. One time uh, in England, somewhere, London, I don't know, the UK, there was a disease in the water. And only the people, people who worked at the beer factory, they knew the water was shit and all they would drink is beer. And they were the ones who survived. <laughs> Think about it, man. And everyone else who's drinking water and stuff, they died. Yeah, true story. So anyways, this is very serious, okay, this isn't a joke, all right? Okay, like my new hat. Okay, so I could have got this video over in 10 seconds. The tilt debunks the globe, easy. When you're tilted away from the sun, so you see the sun is shining on the ball right here, now watch me spin it. I'm going to spin it towards me. That's counterclockwise. Okay? It might look clockwise on your screen, but when I'm looking at it, it's counterclockwise. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it. Let's see. Let's spin it. Yeah, I'm going to do it counterclockwise for you. 
even though it might look funny. No, that's clockwise. Anyways, I'm just doing it counterclockwise. So what's going to happen is, on okay, on this side of the globe, watch this. Okay. I'll just do it this way. It goes down. Okay, so it's going down on my side. You see, it's going down. But on this side, what's it doing? It's going up. It's going up. <laughs> Imagine that. Watch this. Just watch it again. Okay. Someone was saying, oh, does your globe have that C thing in the back? And it's got a tilt. Yeah, of course it does. I bought it at the dollar store. It was like $7.85 was the total. I have the receipt. I'll show you later. Um, okay. So there it is. What don't you understand? You're starting here. This is the low point. Okay. <clears throat> and that's supposed to be midnight. Okay. But you're going to be rising up. You know, right there. Where you go from dark into light. From dark into light, that's going to be that's going to be the end of the globe. You start going up, up, up and away. So by the time you get to noon, look how much height you've you you've gone like considerable. Look at that. Okay, it's a lot of height from my knuckle to the top of that. Okay, that's quite a bit. And so to you, the sun in the sky is going to appear like it's set. And that's 12 noon. That's the fatal flaw of the globe. You cannot recover from this. Okay? It's done. It's over. It's a joke. That's it. Once you know, you know. That's it. There's no getting around this. Okay? People who still have a brain, they recognize it instantly. Instantly. Because it is. And that's why... This guy who uploaded my one of my videos. Oh, and he's doing a review. One of these guys got hockey pucks in his ears, uh, tattoos on the neck, rings in the nose. You can tell he's a shell too, because he's got one of those walls and he's putting hats on it. Or you know, you know, with those microphone guys. And they sit there. Anyways. Yeah, he leaves out the last two minutes of my video. The one that says the globe model hoax. <sighs> And that's the part that tells you about this. And he cut it out. Okay, why? And then, well, to fool his subscribers. This guy, a few subscribers more than me, I guess. And, uh, big deal. This no-name guy, coconut head, and um, <laughs> he's an idiot. And so, but I do give him credit for trying. And he did pin my comment pointing out that he cut the last two minutes to the top. So, you know, that's good. Uh, that's, you know, right thing to do. And, uh, yeah. So that's why he cut it out, because it debunks the globe. And then you get this other guy. The guy who went nuts after F over 2 pi. Um... And he's still beating a dead horse. He doesn't know it's checkmate F over 2 pi. He's like sitting there, well, well, no, F over 2 pi is easy. You can't have total centrifugal force within the spinning object because the object destroys in a fraction of centrifugal force, F over 2 pi. Done. And he's still going on in the comments. But, 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 you can, you can have total centrifugal force. See, the calculation says so. So what? It's a calculation, buddy. It's not in here. Because this gets destroyed at F over 2 pi. It's just the radial force going this way. Okay? And it just points out onto the equator. So from the middle to the equator. Because the fastest moving part, it's going to explode. And so that's it. The three strikes. You can't have total centrifugal force within the spinning object. You can't divide centrifugal force in increments. And spread it around like you know this part's got that much and that's got more doesn't work like that it's always f over 2 pi everywhere and you can't have radius in the math and all their math has radius in it so they're done 
Okay, and that's why, because lies can only be supported by lies. And so that's why the link on uh, flatearthclassroom.blogspot.com, um, it says fake forces, fake math, fake physics. And that's exactly what they have to do to support the lie. Lies can only be supported by lies. And they did lose in the state of Georgia about the curve. And if I were to take this to court or if somebody tried to challenge me in court on this, they would lose, is what I'm saying. Okay, and they would lose against the tilt too. So now we got the one-two punch, and the globe is dead. <laughs> Simple. And I want to teach everybody. So the F over two pi, that's going to be more for the PhD people, engineers, uh, the nerds in undergrad who think they're smart with their equations, those kind of people who think rockets don't push off air. We destroy those people with F over two pi, plus with our videos showing that rockets obviously push off air. So that aside, the other important one that needs to be known is the tilt. Okay, so here's the dividing line this way. Terminator line, dark light. Okay, so right at this point where you're coming out of darkness into light, you're at a really low point. The sun to you at this point is going to be halfway to noon. Okay, that's how it's going to look like when you wake up in the morning, it's not, it's not going to, it's already going to, it's going to look high to you, okay, because of your position, all right, it's just the way it goes, it's the ball, and then as you go here to noon, the sun will appear to set, it, it'll be at its lowest point anyways, even if it doesn't set, it'll be at its lowest point, but at noon, it's supposed to be at its highest point. And that's the fatal flaw. So when you're facing away at winter, like we're doing now, the globe dies. It kills itself. It debunks itself. Okay, and the other thing with the F over 2 pi is, you just tell them, does F over 2 pi, does gravity oppose F over 2 pi? No, absolutely not. It does not oppose F over 2 pi. And that's what that crazy guy is like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it still does. It's uh, it, gravity opposes it. You got to take all the forces into account. No, even their whole thing, the 300 to one ratio, is bogus. All it is is a ratio. The units cancel out. The section of Earth that it applies to cancels out. It's stupid. It doesn't work. It's just a fraction, one over 300. It's nothing. Okay, no engineering. Nothing is designed with that. The one over 300. Nothing. Nothing. It's stupid. Okay? These people are retarded. Okay. So, the video's done. I'm just going to keep rambling because I still have some beer to drink. And I just want to drive the message home. Review is good. You know, it's you can't just hear it one time. Oh, tilt. The globe destroys itself with tilt. Because when it's tilted away from the sun, by the time you get to noon, the sun will appear to be setting. And the beauty of all this was that that crazy guy I told you about was always whining about it ever since I killed him with F over 2 pi. That's the same guy I said in the other video I destroyed him with the equinoxes. And I'll put that equinox, I have it in a video, but I'll put the link to the article. Plus I'm gonna, I've screenshotted the whole page in case they ever take it down. And you'll see, it says, Imagine this, imagine that, all the way till you have to imagine a dome. Okay, you've got to imagine a dome, and the whole thing's imaginary, or else their whole model doesn't work. It's all up here. It's mental. They have no demonstrations of anything, and again, they were caught with F over 2 pi using fake math, fake physics, fake forces. All of that's a package deal. Okay, and just think, people, your common sense, how are you going to spin a broken ball? Plate tectonics BS, okay? Shit. I can't believe I have to be saying this. Kids can understand this, okay? Even, I could explain it to, to a seven-year-old for sure. Maybe a six-year-old. I was just hesitating, maybe a six-year-old. Some six-year-olds, absolutely yes, even five-year-olds. If I was five, I remember perfectly everything. This would sink in. I would get this. 
Okay. I don't know today because too many shots. They're destroying the brain. Uh, the fluoride, the GMO, the chemtrails. The kids are at such a disadvantage. But raw milk, raw milk is good for that. So, so yeah, the globe debunked itself. The globe died. Um, yeah. And, you know, the people, that guy who uploaded the video and tried to trick his subscribers. Uh, wow. If you want to see a funny farm, okay, that guy's channel is a magnet for people with no brain, okay? You tell them this, you explain it simple, they don't get it. So yeah, what I was trying to remember is, and this is the coup de gras, okay, to that crazy guy who, you know, I debunked with the Equinox and, and with F over 2 pi. And this is good. This, this is. Uh, I see him in a straitjacket right now, over this of the tilt. And he was going, yeah. I have his comments. I picked. I took all of them. Picture. And he goes, something like, uh, well, you know, let's talk about that. Um, what's your proof? Like, maybe they're not talking about, you know, that the height of the sun is connected to the tilt. Because you try to search that on Google. Good luck. <laughs> they don't want to attract any attention to that, okay? And you can't find just about squat. But I found a video from Ted Ed. You know that TEDx, Ted Ed, that mind control BS, low-level speakers on there. I mean, you might have the occasional normal person. Who knows? But anyways, it was on that. And you know the sheeple. Whoa, they can't go against that. No way, no way. And so I got him. I said, here, Paul. And she drew the picture. I've downloaded this video. I'm definitely, I'll put it at the end of this video. And, um, and that guy's comments. And uh, yeah, and she's drawing the rings and she goes, oh, I just love how she set it up. I'm not gonna do it justice, but it was something like, oh, and you know, the height of the sun in the sky and and how it gets lower for every season um, is not just due to the orbit, it's due to the tilt. <laughs> oh my God, it's due to the tilt. And what's that guy gonna say now? Cause I kept telling him that. <laughs> this is the first thing I said, that's the part they cut out in the other video. And it says that, just like what you saw in the cloak. Okay, the tilt. And so, here it is. You're going up on the globe. The sun to you is going to appear to be going down. They can't get out of that. Okay, the tilt accounts for that. Obviously, obviously it accounts for that. And it's so obvious, that's why, you know, they don't want to attract attention. Just like Null School, somebody, I pinned a comment on that video. And he's saying, it's so obvious even like a retard could look at that null school flat earth map and it shows the temperate zones and then knowing that the sun does a circle because you know the midnight sun, that's what it's doing everywhere. Only the flat earth model explains the midnight sun. Only, only. The other model, and I have videos on that. Their model is so stupid because you're always looking at this way. So you're, But in the flat earth, the real thing, if you want to film that, you got to go all the way around. Okay? Just like that, you have a 360 degree field of view. Uh, D Marble guy, he did some good footage on that. I had to clean it up a bit in the front. He had some extra sequences in there that didn't make sense. He added them in for some reason, I don't know. There was a reason, no, actually there was a reason. Something to do with uh, the time or comparing both sides or something, there was a reason. But I just made it one nice smooth pan because that's what I like to see, the whole beautiful 360. And you don't get that in the globe. So that's another uh, destruction of the globe that kills itself again. Okay, like I said, they have no working model. Okay, these are serious points. All right? If any globe guy tries to tell you, oh, we got a working model. No, you don't, buddy. Okay, you don't in any possible way. Models are based on observation and fact. Okay, yours is not. Yours is based on fake math, fake physics, fake forces, okay? Does gravity oppose F over 2 pi? I'll take you to court, okay? All right? 
You tell me if gravity opposes f over 2 pi. It doesn't. Okay, and shut up. <laughs> so, you know, you got to slap these people silly. But anyways, if you want to see the comments of a funny farm, and you want the link to that guy's channel who cut off the end, I don't know. Just ask. I mean, <laughs> whatever. So, yeah, what are you doing now, Globe? Just chilling here. Who knows? You know, these are random, unscripted. So, you know, anything can happen. Anything can be said. So, I'll just... Mm. So, yeah, I was going to say I'm the South Pole Santa. And you can tell because I got the penguin on my hat. And, uh, yeah, what else can I say? Uh, yeah, so that's it. You know, the tilt, the globe destroys itself with the tilt. You want to be stupid and believe in stupidity? Go ahead. You look like an idiot. When, when a kid can come up to you and tell you F over 2 pi and actually explain to you and ask you the question, does gravity oppose F over 2 pi? And all he has to tell you is, he just has to have a circle, an orange. He could cut an orange in half and all the lines that go from the center to the outside, to the peel, that's F over 2 pi. Right there, done and dusted, okay? But what happens? The peel is going to change F over 2 pi into a perpendicular force, okay? And that means at 90 degrees. So here comes one of those rays from the center of the orange, and it hits here, and then it wants to rip apart because that's hitting all around at every possible point around the inner circumference, or around the circumference. <laughs> you don't have to say inner circumference. Around the circumference, okay? It's being pressured at every point that that radial force disappears, okay? It's there, but he instantly it's transformed into this, okay? The molecular bonds, it's called a tangential force, and the units change a bit because it's PSI. It becomes PSI. Okay, but when you're doing the tests, you want everything standardized, you want the math to be as simplified as possible. Um, okay, so you're going to use, let's say, for example, in the machinery's handbook, a one inch square hula hoop. Yeah. And, you know, this is with that crazy guy. I went toe to toe with him all the way to Quora. And then I, I have the email. Whoever wants a copy, I'll send you. It says, You've become the most red author on centrifugal force okay and i could show you how many questions now my emails full that people are asking me to explain to them okay i put down there uh i put my credentials down i put my full name i put um flat earth ambassador <laughs> you know and why not and uh yeah and i destroyed him on there just destroyed the guy he, he He's going nuts, I'm telling you. And he's, you know, I think he's getting paranoid too. So, anyways, I, I feel sorry for the guy. I really do. Um, he needs therapy. Um, I think the best way is just to keep making these videos and putting the truth in his face. And, you know, he has to, he has to get it. I know he watches them. <laughs> okay, he's been watching them for a long time. All right? So... Yeah, it's sad. It's so sad. But the truth is the truth. You can't... Flat Earth's a runaway train. Nothing can stop it. Okay? It's done. You let this out of the bag or whoever did, they did. Who cares? Okay? Satan loves controversy. I said on here, I love controversy. Okay? But... Oh, yeah, I'm in a bunker. Watch out. <laughs> the stories that these people come up with, it just, it's crazy. Oh, did I forget the watch? Hold on. That's the time. Been doing around. Anyways, I think I got 15 minutes left. I had 39. So, yeah, it's a fairly long talk, this one. And that's good. That's good. I, it needs to be. People need to get it over and over in their head. And just in this random fashion, this is the best way. It's the most natural. Okay? It's not, you know, boring. It maintains the attention span because it's random. 
that's what, the beauty of random. If it's written monotonous, it's no good. It's no good. People will turn it off. They might turn this off. Too bad. It's their loss. I don't care. I don't care. Okay? Enough other people, you know, like this Eli who comment, you know, he got it. Okay? He got it. It's, it's, it's an instant for some people. Okay? So that's awesome. That way I know, you know, there's intelligent life out there. Okay? My neighbor, he works for NASA, all right? Yeah, he knows about F over 2 pi. He helped me write the freaking page. I mean, I wrote it, and he pointed a few things out, and I changed it till he was satisfied, okay? He knows about F over 2 pi. We had two major talks. One was four and a half hours, and one was six. You know, we both take our kids to the same park, and so we met, and, uh, from 2016, but I got him with F over 2 pi. So that's, you know, his two choices left. Either, either he's gonna stay confused the rest of his life, or he's gonna go full on flat, quit his job, everything, and just be a warrior, just for the rest of his life, devote all every last energy like I'm doing, and like lots of people are doing. I like uh, Zoom Truth. Oh man, he's, this guy, people just check him out. Check him out. He does nice live shows. I think usually I'm probably missing it right now. And this crazy guy in orange, this NASA guy, comes out. But he does amazing videos. Like the guys in the street in Hollywood, okay. And it's beaming over to Zoom Truth, who I think's on the East Coast. And I'm watching it too, Vancouver, BC. And uh, this crazy NASA guy. But some of those videos are like six hours. But man, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just going to take out the footage of the NASA guy on one of them. And, uh, no, he was going crazy. It was awesome. He was talking about how, oh, yeah, we, uh, every whatever Thursday, uh, we don't run water in the faucets. We run tequila. And we, oh, I'm telling you, it was priceless. I'm telling you, priceless. So, yeah, you know, we've got to have fun with this, but it's very real. I'm bringing the most uh, powerful truths, okay? The ones that just cannot be debunked by any possible, they just can't, okay? So F over 2 pi is 1, and the tilt. The tilt, the globe destroys itself with the tilt. Okay. Yeah, how do you like that? Kills itself. <laughs> The stupid globe. Can you believe you ever believed in that shit? I can't. I can't. That's just sick. Yeah. So, yeah, people, you know, if you want to chop up this video, take whatever sections you want, you know, do it good. Um, I'm going to talk the tilt again, just with this background. Just a different tone. Okay. So, here you have it. Here's the globe. This is the review. You're there. By the time you get to there, 12 noon, you went up. The sun is going to appear to be lower, obviously. <laughs> it's that simple. So the globe is tilted like a pinball machine. Let's just take it off its thing. Ah, the devil ball. Take your devil ball. You can't get it. You want this ball? Come and take it. You can't get you can't take this ball from me. That was uh tough. Shit, I have it in one of my videos, this uh I don't know, Bob guy, I don't know. He goes, Yeah, you gotta have the tank top I bought it at Walmart. And, and he's doing all the you know, he had a background, he was uh green screened onto the whole oh. Anyways. There's a lot of classic videos, a lot of people are having fun with this. Because it's a joke, this is a piggy bank. Now I'm going to go in the street. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not going to say, I'm going to sit there. Oh, can you spare some change? We want to save the globe. I guarantee you I'm going to get people to put money in here. Even 20 bucks. How, how <laughs> can you imagine? Okay, so that's going to be a challenge. I'll maybe surprise you down the road. Maybe now, 
the holidays, people are into giving. I'll stand in front of a store, just like this. Maybe the balloons too. And uh, I'm going to say, oh, please, can you help me save the globe? The globe is hurt. The globe is hurt. Yeah, the globe is hurt. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I still have nine minutes. So yeah, this is a good 30 minute video now. <sighs> what a joke, eh? Yeah, just a little bit left and finish it up and I'm going to call it a wrap. I think I said enough. Oh, and the other thing real quick, the um, I was saying before how the sun's going to be, you know, twice over the equator. I just explained that very simple because at those two points, that's where the sun is hitting at sunrise and then sunset on my side, okay? That fake uh, parallel beam of light hits at exactly 90 degrees. So they're done right there. Another, another way the globe destroys itself. There's no way out of that because the sun only crosses the equator, has anything to do with the equator, twice a year. Okay, at the equinox. Okay, it does the figure eight, and in the middle, okay? And it stays there for like three days, if you check the different places of the Earth. Like, timingdate.com, all the data's there, okay? And none of that can be explained on the globe, none! Okay, even the analemma tells you Longitude diverges as you go south because you got the little loop on the top. Then you got this huge one at the bottom. It's like five times bigger. Okay, so don't be fooled, people. Okay, their model is stupid. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's completely debunked. It's not a model. They don't have a model. Okay, they pretend they have a model. They don't. Okay, it's just assumptions, lies, tricks. Okay, praying on your ignorance, okay? Don't be fooled, people. Okay, this is fake as, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. No, I just, you know, kids watch these too, and they leave such rude comments. Oh, they're sick-minded people, sick in the head. In fact, don't ever go watch that video of that guy who tried to do my video. <laughs> The people in that place are demented. I called them. I said, you know, they're all a bunch of uh, knuckle-dragging, gaping mouth simpletons, okay? And that's what they are. That's all of them. That's what they are. None of them can attack the tilt, what I brought out, the twice a day at the equator, the F over 2 pi. They'll just attack you. Okay, or they'll just start talking, you know, anything else <laughs> except that. But the priceless thing was where I did find a reference that they can't deny because it was Ted Ed. And that's it. It's over. Okay. So cheers. Merry Christmas. Okay, that's the present this year. Um, you know, uh, what can I say? Anyways, we'll just keep on going, some bonus footage. Uh, yeah, we have a lot planned though, don't worry, this is nothing, this is the beginning. Just having fun with this. Uh, yeah, we'll be interacting with people too. The key with doing this, it helps you crystallize it. So, each time you present it, you think of better ways to say it so it's more clear and more clear. Just like earlier in the video where I talked about the orange. <laughs> That's as clear as you can possibly get, okay? A kid can easily understand that. Easily. And that's the level I want to get it to. And, and it's been, it's already at that level. So the next step now is making some flashcards, <laughs> business cards, whatever, flyers, just some printed stuff that just have maybe one or two simple points on them that that's it you know i mentioned you know the water's flat and this and that but just
just something that is undeniable, like the tilt. The tilt tilts the globe, <laughs> like a pinball machine, okay? Game over, the tilt debunks the globe. So it's so easy, okay? I pointed out so many different things that debunk the globe in this video. And that's nothing, it's just a fraction. Um, you take the old explorers, uh, how much distance they went around in the south, took them like four years, average 55,000 miles to even 59 in one case, because they had to, you know, go get supplies here and there, new supply. And, uh, you know, Cook, Ross, and others in those days. And man, you know, if you plot their journey on the Gleason map, it's a perfect match. <laughs> what more do you need? Okay, that would hold up beautifully in a court of law. There's no way uh, that could be denounced, period. Okay, that's a fact. Nobody could challenge you. And that's why they make the Antarctica Treaty. They don't want you going down there finding out it's the ice wall. Ice wall is obvious. I mean, you have to hold the water. And it's been seen and documented by the early explorers. Cook, Ross, you know, later, like Bird. I don't believe a freaking, you know, he had to get some credibility. Oh, yeah, I found the ice wall too. And then he adds his shit on top of that. Well, yeah, the secret passage and there's all these minerals and all this and that. No, none of that's there. And even if it was, you're never, ever, ever, ever going to get it. Okay, because... What does uh, my Flat Earth textbook say? And I wish, well, I'll do more videos on that book. We'll do the whole book. And it says in there, the snow is fathoms deep. Fathomless. It's just so much snow, and it's always going to be there forever. So what the, what's this stupid bird talking about? Okay, he's a company guy. His, whatever he said was 1,000% scripted. Fake. Okay, fake bird. All right? Anybody who references Bert is a retard. Period. You're a retard. Okay? And anybody who doesn't recognize the flat earth map, that's the map? You're a retard. Okay? I haven't seen any, you know, all the proof tells you it's that. Just as much as the flat water tells you it's flat. One look at that map, actually. That's all it took me. One look. I said, oh, man. This is... I'll never forget that. And in my first video that I made, you know, that's how I started it, on that map, okay? So anyways, I see my counter flashing. It's a two minute warning right now. So yeah, we've, we've gone pretty high on this one, okay. This is fake. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay? Tell the people, tilt. Okay? This is winter in the Northern Hemisphere. All right? And you just show the teacher this. Dude. That's it. The sun will appear to be as low as possible. Sorry. That's the end of the globe. See you later.